intentions are good. But my child, Ekema, is no man's wife. No, but I, I understand the ways of the deity. Then you would also understand that my daughter is one with the gods. The essence of the nine villages that make up Amaite Nani. Uh, but, but I, I... Patience, son of the Mother Earth. When she does become the priestess of Idemili, I am sure she will choose you as her mates. Only to father a child for a date and never to be a husband? Who are we to question the gods? Even when unhappiness is what they bring to us? The scoundrel says he would have been a better person if the god had only created him better. Be contented with what life gives you. Son of Osisioji, keeper of the mother deity, greetings. Your footprints in the earth tells me not what path you tread. A path of peace. And yet, your eyes are one with fire. The bullfrog's bid to swallow the python will only spell doom on its kind. Desist. For the Ikoro resounds only for kings on the sojourn to the land of the spirit. Desist. I am not a slave to any man. I am the son of the mountain lion, a freeborn. Desist, or your head and that of your kindred becomes footstools for Ogugu. I'm 
What is going on here? What is going on here? Mother, mother, leave her be. Of Oshimili. Everywhere. You killed my mother. Everywhere you killed my mother. Everywhere. I curse you. I curse you everywhere. I curse your offspring. The earth shall always be your cover for the rest of your life. Everywhere you have to do this to me. Why? <laughs> I'm sorry. Why? You have never been the fault of all this. Okay, ma. Why don't we just go away? Let's leave this place. Where would we go? My very existence is almost like a curse to me. Ekema, okay, stop it! You know it's not true. You're the essence of my very existence, Ekema. That you have always been. Ekema, you cannot be a cause to me. Stop it. Stop. I'm sorry. I have to go. Ekema. I have to go before they start looking for me. Please, I beg of you. Stay a little while with me. Please. Papa, you know the cleansing period is almost near. I shouldn't be out so long. Ekema. I have to go. Ekema. Ekema, please. Ekema, please. I'm nothing without you, Ekema. The foul mouth of Udene, the vulture, will not change it from what Ischi has made it. And what I feel for Ekema. The mother hen says that he could have done more in protecting his young from the hawk. If only Osebuwa, the great deity that lives in heaven, had given it wings to fly with. Are you saying I'm not good enough for the daughter of Aboma? <laughs> Termites dwell underground with their kind. Hmm. I thought I could reason with you. But my father once said that wisdom does not necessarily come with age. And stupidity is the chief at Guy Stilfeke. And you call yourself a father. Yet you can stand to see the seed of your own loins sentenced to death like this. Ekema is your child, I know. And you stand to watch her life end like this. Some choices are not ours to make. Don't let Ekwensu, the god of confusion, tell you different. Desist! Thank you. 
لكن ما I love you I love you more I'll give up my life rather than allow anything to take you away from me I would die if anything happens to you the doorway of the seven rivers of Oshimile. It is I, Ekema, daughter of the river goddess Otakase, offspring of Idemili, benefactor of the childless. What are the seven keys to the gateways of Oshimile? Seven precious eggs from the python goddess of Idemili. Seven forbidden fishes from Obaninu. Seven cowries from Mirele. Seven bullfrogs from Otakasi. Seven pieces of white chalk from Mboroghu River. Seven cups of water from Enugwasa. And uh, the virginity of a maiden priestess. Daughter of the still waters of Ebenato. Step on the threshold of the goddess Oshimili.
Land shall be blessed. Oh, Women shall conceive. Oh, Men shall prosper. Oh, the land shall be fruitful. Oh, the turbulent rivers shall be still. Oh, Peace shall prevail. Zemwa, <laughs>
Are you with me or not? Okwadike, I do not think it's a good idea going to another village to ferment trouble. And I ask, when has it become a sacrilege to fight for what you believe in? Okwadike, attacking Ami Demri is a sacrilege on its own. If your chief tells you different, I advise you to listen. Sons of Amadim, take heed. The offspring of Udezuka will not force any man's hand. For I believe in what I believe in. Akwadike, we believe in you. Amadim! Oye! Amadim! Oye! Amadim! Oye! The gods of our land will protect us. My betrothed will be saved. And my demon refused to heed to my voice of reason. They spat at me with venom filled mouths. They scornfully asked whose son I was. But their forebears were kings. And my mere hunters. But I'm a free born of Amadim, the son of Osirji the Great, who ate himself upon seeing the morning sun, wrestled the ugly until he gave his eggs up in supplication. I am Akwadike, the greatest hunter in Amadim, the voice of the seven forest deity, Ochaya. Today, the sacredness of Amadimri will be broken. For when a deity becomes insolent, its worshippers will abandon it at the crossroad. Abandon! Abandon! Abandon!
The son of the mountain lion has come to take that that belongs to him. Fool. Don't you know when to appease the god of madness? Depart before you are struck down where you stand. You will be hanged for this insolence. The name of your village will be a story told by old women to their younglings. Everywhere, you don't scare me. I will only live only when I have collected that that belongs to me. <laughs> The caterpillar wants a dance with death. It thinks it is a contest of who has more legs. Depart, for the one in whose presence you stand is one with gods. She carries the burdens of the nine villages that makes up Amitenani, priestess of Oshibili, and wife to none. Everywhere you lie. alone chose to carry your body. Please, please bring him back. I will do whatever you want, please! Daughter of Oshimli, he rests. But we must hurry before the river returns from his journey to Uru. The ritual for your priesthood must be completed. No!
Welcome to our home. My son and his wife.
Now we await your verdict. And they shall not wait in vain. That's my son. Spoken like a king. Not just yet, father. Your years shall still outlive the end of seasons. I know, I know, son. Um, your wife is looking restless. Can you take her in, please? Yes, father. Is she really the one? As sure as we are, the day will come after night. She's pure. I'm touched. And, um... And what? Amuma, and what? Uh, something I cannot see. I hope it's not something that will hurt my son. No. She would gladly give her life for his. We wait. You wait. What? Finally. Yeah, finally. <laughs> wait. What? I have to freshen up. First. Hey, 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 hey. Am I complaining? Well, I am. Uh, you know, from all the dust walking around and... Okay, okay. I give up. Go freshen up. I'll wait. <laughs> of course you will wait. Because if you have waited all these years, mm -hmm. then some minutes won't kill you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now I see that you are enjoying this. Making me wait. Sure. <laughs> you are so evil. I know. Okay. I will wait. But don't forget that you're not just keeping a prince waiting. You're keeping his entire kingdom waiting too. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. That's the problem with you. You always have a bad feeling about practically everything. I'd have been surprised if you didn't say this. He's my only son. Our only son, who has found himself a wife who at her age is still a virgin. Isn't that beautiful? And you forgot to add, whose parentage is questionable. There is absolutely nothing wrong with being an orphan. Nothing. No mother, no father, no uncle, no auntie. <laughs> Isn't that a bit strange? On the contrary, what I find strange is the fact that your son was able to find himself a wife outside the shores of this country, something which, by the way, you couldn't do. I know where your argument is going. <laughs> How was I to know they were not virgins? They were barely 18 when their parents brought them here for the test. I see. They had parents, uncles, aunties, and a long line of relations. And yet... <laughs> and yet... <laughs>
Is my handsome husband sleeping? Hey, you. <laughs> Definitely not. Hey, you look beautiful and sexy. <laughs> Thank you. You promised me it would. Relax. It will. All right. Wait. For you, I'll do anything. came off. It actually came off. Yeah. It had no choice. But... Come here. Come and make your wife home. Mm -hmm.
it has started again. The Kemili has risen. Why did you ask us to come? We need to go in there now. Go anywhere. The prince's chamber. Listen to me. Serenity is not synonymous with wisdom. My reign will not be remembered only at the insistence of drunks. The gods forbid. Your Highness, your forebears came to no shame. Yours will not be different. Then why did you ask me to commit such a sacrilege? You know the tradition. The chamber remains shocked until the prince emerges with a blood-stained eagle's feather, the blood of his virgin bride. Has that tradition changed? No, your highness. But his bride it is... What is she doing to my son? Hey! Come back here. Let's open the door. My son may be dying I in there. Come back! We must obey tradition. If anything happens to my son, if anything happens to my son... Patience. Nothing will happen to him. Your Highness, we have been given access. Great God, Sir Abakoba. What is this? The great deity of Oshimili. Hey, she's a demon. Not a demon. A great deity from a time long forgotten. Mom, let's be reasonable. Reasonable? You see, ask for reasons when you brought that curse into this palace. Ma is not a curse. She told me how special she is even before we got here. Was floating in the air and having a python as a pet. Part of her traits? You are making a molehill look like a mountain. Don't you dare talk stupidly. Because I know the child has pawned. I want that thing out of this palace. Enough of this nonsense. Come on, talk like a queen instead of bleating like a goat. Uh, <clears throat> what should we do? We need to appease Oshimili.
Forgive us, O daughter of the seven rivers of Idemili. We appease you, for we are mere mortals prone to mistakes. Forgive our insolence and accept our humble supplications. Look away. Oshimili, obeisance. I see you not, O great mother deity. 